density. We notice that some substances appear to be light and some substances appear to be heavy. And why this happens? Even if the mass is same, some substances we feel heavy, some substances we feel light. And that particular characteristic of the material is defined by density. So let's see how we define density. Density of a substance is the mass of the substance per unit volume. That means what one unit volume mass that is called density. Mass of one unit volume. So density generally termed as d, small d, is mass of the substance divided by volume of the substance. Whenever you say per unit volume or per unit rate, so you have to divide it by that particular parameter. So D is equal to M by V, where M is the mass and V is volume. Now the units for this are either kg per meter cube or if you take it in grams it is a gram per centimeter cube so the si unit for density is kg per meter cube and the density of water which we must know is one gram per centimeter cube or 1000 kg per meter cube that means one centimeter cube volume of water will have a mass of one gram. The mass of one meter cube volume of a substance of water will have 1000 kg mass. This is a characteristic property of the substance as told earlier because the density of a substance is same. D of a substance is same under specified conditions. It doesn't change. Hence, it is a characteristic property of the material. Because the mass and volume, they are all the same under specified conditions. Hence, density also is the same. And if density of the substance is greater than density of water then what happens the substance is heavier than water so what happens it sinks if you put an iron ball into the water it sinks because iron's density is greater than density of iron is greater than density of water so, if density of a substance is greater than density of water, then the substance sinks in water. And also we say that substance is heavier than water. If the density of a substance is less than density of water, then substance is lighter and it floats in water. So we understand that density is mass by volume and density of a substance if it is greater than density of water then it sinks into the water. Example iron, iron ball sinks into water because substance is heavier than water and if density of substance is less than density of water then substance is lighter so it floats for example a wooden cork so it floats on the water it doesn't sink because density of cork is lesser than density of water so these are the points which we need to keep in mind to know whether a particular substance sinks in water or floats in water
that depends on the density. Take an example. Because the aluminium is a light metal with a low density, how in a practical world we see this particular aspect of density of the material. Aluminium is a light metal. Why do we say it's a light metal? Because it has a low density. And because of this property, where do we use it? We use it in aircrafts. Aircrafts are made of aluminum alloys. To give it a low density and high strength so it can fly up. Let's see a problem to understand the density as a parameter better. So the problem is an object of mass 50 grams has a volume of 20 centimeter cube. Calculate the density of the object if density of water be 1 gram per centimeter cube. State whether the object will float or sink in water. So we know the density of the object is given by mass of the object by volume it occupies. So the mass of the object is 50 gram and the volume it occupies is 20 centimeter cube. So which is basically 5 by 2 which is 2.5 gram per centimeter cube. Now when we compare the density of object with that of water, we understand that density of the object is greater than density of water. Why? Because density of the object is 2.5 and density of water is 1. So 2.5 is greater than 1. So density of the object is greater than density of water. So what will happen to the object? Will object sink or float? Object will sink because density of the substance that makes up this object is greater than density of water means this substance is heavier than water so the object sinks in water as it is heavier than water. Now let us talk about relative density. Relative density is in relation to another substance. So, generally the relative density is taken with respect to the density of water. So, how do we define the relative density? The relative density D relative is the density of the substance divided by density of water. Basically what it means density is nothing but mass by volume. So mass of substance divided by volume of substance into because it is inverse it is volume of water by mass of water. If volume of water is equal to volume of substance then what will happen to this equation relative density becomes mass of substance by mass of water so it becomes a ratio of the masses of substance and water therefore the relative density is defined as relative density of a substance is the ratio of the mass of any volume of the substance to the mass of an equal volume of water. So in this case relative density of a substance is mass of substance by mass of water wherein the volumes are equal. Since it is a ratio there are no units. It is a number. So water the relative density of water is what? D relative of water becomes 1. Because the substance is water and you are taking it with respect to water. It expresses the heaviness of the substance in comparison to water. Because we are saying it is the mass of the substance. Mass is 
heaviness. So heaviness of the substance in relation to so it gives you D relative of a substance expresses the heaviness of the substance in comparison to water. This is to understand what the relative density basically means in practical terms. That gives the heaviness of the substance. And using Archimedes principle, the relative density is accurately determined. We have seen an example under Archimedes principle chapter how he measured the density of the gold and authenticated for the purity of the gold. Using Archimedes principle, we can accurately determine the relative density and from which we can determine the density of the substances.